dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky, above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. And welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Teacher Missy. Good and morning. Oh, wow, well, you sorry. added a good morning. That was great. I'm sorry. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> and we are beyond excited that you could join us here on this indeed good morning. It is a good morning. So Teacher Missy, before we start talking about that really fun thing, should we sing? Oh, I, <laughs> yes. Storytime friends, would you join us? Get your clappers ready, whatever you're gonna clap. Remember, it doesn't have to be your hands. You can clap anything. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I do want to hear a story today. So my friend, what should we talk about today? Well, you know, spring is trying really hard it is. to get here. And, and we had it for a couple of days. Yep. And, and I, it's coming back. It is. It is coming back. And it makes me think of places that are really fun to visit in the spring. Okay. Or summer. Little tiny places, smaller than lakes. But their bodies of water are like this. What is that, do you think? Oh, Teacher Missy, is that a pond? That is a pond. And if you look, you can see some animals that really like to be in a pond. There are ducks and a, and a frog and fish. And turtles? And a turtle. And, oh, I don't know what that is. It's either a worm or it might be a leech. I'm not sure. But all these creatures live in ponds. And ponds can be big or little or, you know, they, they just aren't as big as a lake. Right. And the amazing thing I think about a pond is really how many things live in a pond. Yes. So many time, kinds of bugs, and of course the creatures that we've talked about here today. That's amazing how much life can be in this little bit of water. That, that's, that's a good habitat, we call that. Mm -hmm. That's a place where many things can live together and make their homes. Excellent. So do you have any good books about ponds? <laughs> I do. Miss Tracy? Yes, teacher Miss. Check out what I brought. The Small, Small Pond. I love this book. This is a great book. This is in the Small, Small Pond. And if you look, that child on the cover is looking at something. What is it? <laughs> yeah, it's a frog. He looks a little surprised, doesn't he? Does he look a little bit surprised? This book was written and illustrated by Denise Fleming. She's written lots of books for kids. Lots of books for kids. And it comes to us from... Henry Holt. Yep, Henry Holt. My good friend Henry Holt. Okay. Oh, look at his face. I think it's a boy. Maybe it's a girl. I don't know. In the small, small pond. Oh, I see frog feet. Do you see frog feet? That's right. Oops. No, don't, don't answer me. Come on. Jiggle. Wiggle, tadpoles wriggle. What is, what is a tadpole, Miss Tracy? Tadpole is a creature that has not yet evolved into a frog. Right, and it's a baby frog, right. Mm -hmm. Do they have legs? Not yet. They don't have legs yet. Oh, they got a big tail though. Waddle, waddle, wade, geese, parade. Oh, there's some baby geese. Anybody know what they're called? Goslings. Goslings are baby geese. Hover, shiver, wings quiver. This is one of my favorite insects. Oh, a dragonfly. A dragonfly. And do you know why I love dragonflies? Besides the fact that they're beautiful, they eat mosquitoes. 
and lots of them. Drows, does, eyes closed. Those are kind of lazy little guys. Turtles? Yeah, turtles. Lash, lunge, herons plunge. Oh, herons are big birds. They're very big birds yeah. and they eat lots of fish. They're fun to watch. Spitter, splatter, the minnows scatter. There they go. Run, 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 go the minnows. And minnows move so quickly, don't they? Oh, they're just like lightning. I love to watch them. And when we were kids, we, I liked when they'd come and nibble on our toes. <laughs> Circle, swirl, whirl a gigs, twirl. That's a little bug that lives in the water. Wonder who eats him. I bet somebody eats him. Maybe a great blue heron. I don't know. Great blue heron, maybe or fish. fish. Mm -hmm. Swoop. <coughs> Sweep, swoop. Swallows, scoop. Mm, maybe the swallows. Click, clack, claws, what are those? Crabs. Crabs. When they get big enough, people sometimes eat them. Dabble dip, tails flip. What do you suppose that is? I think it's a duck. Yeah, I think it's a duck. That's how they get their food. Splish, splash, pause, flash. Yep, that's a raccoon. Looking for some lunch. This book is really heavy. Pile, pack, muskrats, stack. Look at their house. It looks kind of like a little beaver house. Wow. Yeah, they live in the water like beavers do. You guys, I'm sorry. This is really, this is really a heavy book. Unless it's just me, creepy. Oh, chill, birdies. Winter freeze. Oh, look at what's coming down from the sky there. Yep, snowflakes. We sure know what they look like. <laughs> we do, we do. Okay. Cold night, sleep tight, small, small pond. Oops, somebody's sleeping tight down in the bottom. That's what frogs do in the winter. Mm -hmm. They go down to the bottom and bury themselves and go to sleep. Smart frogs, don't you think? Small, small pond. Hey, Teacher Missy. Yes, Miss Tracy. Hey, story time, friends. Anybody want to do a flannel board? Oh, let's do a flannel board. All right, so as you can see, I have a blue thing on a blue thing, okay? These are two different shades of blue, but my middle blue one, we're gonna pretend it's a pond, okay? And we are gonna sing a song. It's called, There's a Hole in the Middle of the Pond. And the fun thing about this song is, there's also some arm actions that we can do with it. So we will be doing the arm actions, and we will be doing the flannel board all at the same time. I know this is gonna be crazy fun. Okay, here we go. There's my pond and guess what? We have a problem because there's a hole in the middle of my pond. Can you make a hole like that? Here we go. There's a hole in the middle of the pond. There's a hole in the middle of the pond. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the middle of the pond. Hmm, but that's not the only thing that's in the middle of the pond. Here we go. There's a log in the hole in the middle of the pond. There's a log in the hole in the middle of the pond. There's a log in the hole, there's a log in the hole, there's a log in the hole in the middle of the pond. Oh, that was tricky, wasn't it? Did you Very do a log tricky. and a hole? 
All right, we got something out else. Huh, what's that? Well, look at that. There's a bump. Can you make a bump with your hand? There's a bump on the log in the hole in the middle of the pond. There's a bump on the log in the hole in the middle of the pond. There's a bump on the log, there's a bump on the log, there's a bump on the log in the hole in the middle of the pond. Oh my goodness, that was crazy, wasn't it? Bump on the log in the hole. But guess what? My tongue's getting tangled. We're not done because on that bump is a frog. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. There's a frog on the bump, on the log, in the hole, in the middle of the pond. There's a frog on the bump, on the log, in the hole, in the middle of the pond. There's a frog on the bump, there's a frog on the bump, there's a frog on the bump, on the log, in the hole, in the middle of the pond. Oh, that was wonderful. Wow. You did really, really well. Thanks for playing. Miss Tracy? Yes, teacher. Miss I Tracy. have the coolest book of all poems. I'm so excited to hear it. It's, it. This is a good one. This is called Over and Under the Pond. Over and Under. What, what could that be about? By Kate Messner and pictures by Christopher Silas Neal. Let's find out about this, you guys. Looks like there's somebody in a, like maybe a canoe in the top. Yeah. Oh, and I see a fish down below. I do over and under. And this comes to us from Chronicle Books. Over the pond, we slide splashing through the lily pads, sweeping through the reeds. That's what these are. What kind of a reed is that? <laughs> You're right, it's a cattail. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a cloud below. But what's down there, I asked. Under the pond, Mom said. They're looking down into the pond. I wonder what is down there. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. And there they are. If you look, boys and girls, there is a boat. And look at all of the creatures underneath in the water. Lots of fish and frogs. That looks like a shark, but I don't think it is. Not in a pond. Over the pond we skim past tall rushes. Whirl, whirligigs, beetles, loop and twirl. Skaters on a warm summer surface. Remember we talked about that in the other book too, that funny little bug, a whirligig. I love that name. Mm -hmm. Under the pond, minnows dart through the waving force of grass while a brook trout lurks ready to lunge. Look at, they're swimming right toward him and there he is waiting for him. That could be his lunch. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a, a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three. They slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, smoosh under the pond. Turtles can be out of the water or under the water. Oh, look at this one. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Cock, levy. Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass in her nest. Under the pond, a caddyfly larva builds a home and a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Look at everybody's really busy making houses. 
Over the pond, the shadow of leaves lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We interrupted his lunch. There he is just chewing away. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails. Look at that big old tail of his. And rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Mmm, delectable. That means he likes to eat them. I don't know. Do you want to eat roots from weeds? I'm not sure. I guess if I was a beaver, I would. Over the pond, the wind gives a push and stirs the high dappled leaves on shore. There, on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. Look at, there's a baby goldfish right there. I have those at my bird feeder sometimes. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing their tails and they're growing legs. Growing up. You can see, here's one that's just starting to get a leg. Oh, and he's got a leg. This one's got legs. Yay, frog. Over the pond there on the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long-legged step. Hmm, wonder what he's after. And strikes. It catches a wiggly quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Well, the minnows are fast, but not fast enough. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to the teetering pine, digging for ants. Oh, nama, ants. <laughs> there he is. Do you know what it sounds like when a woodpecker tries to find food? It's that funny sound. It sounds like a little hammer. It's beating away on the tree. Under the pond, an otter claws for fresh water mussels. Hmm. Mussel is kind of like a clam. I guess they like to eat them. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs <clears throat> tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Oh. Oh, they're pretty fast. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and mink stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flap of a tail, a crayfish disappears in the dark. Oh, there's that little crayfish right there. Hiding from that raccoon right there. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto shore. As a far off loon calls, good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turn frogs, wading herons and stalking raccoons. and the hidden world under the pond. Quite a place, quite a place. Whoop. Hey, story time friends, teacher Missy. Yes ma'am. Anybody wanna wave a scarf? Oh, do you have my green one today? I do. I'm going to oh, hand Teacher Missy her green you, scarf. Thank you, Miss Tracy. Oh, there we go. At my favorite. Oh. Oh, somebody here? Yes, does. yes. Story time, friends. Monkey would like to be our story time friend today. Good morning, Teacher good Missy. Good morning, Monkey. So good to see you. Good morning, story time, friends. All 
Hi, it's a monkey. You can sit right there. And we are going to wave. Okay? We are, are going to do two scarf songs. And surprisingly, or not, they both have to do with ponds. Well, I know. Isn't that's that crazy? pretty clever. So the first one is we're going to talk about different animals that live in the pond. And with our scarves, we're going to jump up high. We're going to shake our tail. We're going to walk real slow. And then we're going to swim real fast. Okay? Here we go. The first animal we're going to talk about is a frog. And this song is If You Want to Be. Here we go. You ready? If you want to be a frog, jump up high. If you want to be a frog, jump up high. If you want to be a frog, if you want to be a frog, if you want to be a frog, jump up high. Oh my goodness, so many high leaping frogs. Here we go. Now, let's be a duck. If you want to be a duck, shake your tail. Shake your tail. If you want to be a duck, shake your tail. If you want to be a duck, if you want to be a duck, if you want to be a duck, shake your tail. Oh, so many tails are shaking out there. Now, how about a turtle? Ready? If you want to be a turtle, walk real slow. If you want to be a turtle, walk real slow. If you want to be a turtle, if you want to be a turtle, if you want to be a turtle, walk real slow. They are so slow moving. <laughs> it's Tracy. What? Okay. Oh, okay, good. Here we go. All right. Now, how about if we want to be a fish? Oh, let's go real fast. Here we go. If you want to be a fish, swim real fast. If you want to be a fish, swim real fast. If you want to be a fish, if you want to be a fish, if you want to be a fish, swim real fast. Oh, that was great. And I was taken by how if I go really fast, it looks like a fish going it through the water. It kind of does look like a fish. It? Oh, that is so much fun. Okay, all right, ready to do, to do another one? This one is called Down in the Pond. And we are going to swim, we're going to splash, and then we are going to dive. All right, here we go. Down in the meadow in a little bitty pool swam ten little ducklings and a mama duck too. Swim, said the mama duck, swim like I do. And they swam and they swam all over the pool. All right, now we're going to splash. Okay, how should we splash? That doesn't really make much of a splash, does it? But we can pretend it's because quiet. it's kind of fun. It's to, a quiet it's splash. It's a quiet splash. It's kind of fun to catch it though. Here we go. Down in the meadow in a little bitty pool swam ten little ducklings and a mama duck too. Splash, said the mama duck, splash like I do. And they splashed and they splashed all over the pool. All right, now what all ducks like to do, we're going to dive. Here we go. Down in the meadow in a little bitty pool swam ten little ducklings and a mama duck too. Dive, said the mama duck, dive if you can. And he's diving, they dived all over the pool. Oh, they were having some fun. They were having a lot of fun. Hey, thanks for playing. Oh, Teacher Missy, story time friends, what a great time I had today talking about ponds. It was really fun. Don't you just want to go look at one? And I do. See I, want to, there? I want to go count frogs. Frogs, yeah. So we uh, heard about all the animals in the small, small pond, and then this was so fascinating. We heard about things that happened above the pond and below the pond. And, below. and Monkey helped us out, and we got to sing about. The frog and the bump and the log and the hole and the... Yeah, that was quite the workout, wasn't it? But now I think it's time to say goodbye. I think it is. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? All right, here we go. 
Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, everybody. Keep on the lookout for frogs. <laughs>